Hey guys, my name is Chase. I have a full-time Amazon and eBay reselling business. I've been full-time for five years, part-time for 20 years. And I wanna talk about when it's time to get a disc cleaner. I actually just sold one of my disc cleaners for 2,500 bucks, so let's dive in. So this beautiful disc cleaner I just sold and I have my reasons that I'll get into in a little bit. I sold it for $2,500 to a Discord member, Nerd Nation. Check out his channel, he's awesome and I highly recommend it. $2,500 is expensive and that was still a really good deal on this machine. Recently refurbished by Elm USA. I definitely recommend it if you meet some of the following criteria. So the machine behind me here is actually another Echo Auto Smart, and I have a, a third one over there that I need to get refurbished. So I really didn't need three, um, but I wanna talk about why I got one of these initially. So that was about five years ago. Um, I had jumped full time into selling on Amazon, primarily video games, right? So I was doing probably between 100,000 and 200,000 in sales a year uh, part time. And when I jumped to full time, I realized pretty quickly that I would need one of these amazing machines because I was doing quite a lot of volume of physical media. Selling video games like this. So this is actually a stack of games that I have that I literally made up between yesterday and today. All of these need resurfacing. When I bought this machine, it was about three or $4,000 and I had a stack of about 200 games that were ready to be refurbished that were valued over $4,000 if they work and are sellable. This machine fixed almost every one of them up. I netted about five grand on those games, paid for it in a month. So that's one factor that I would say before buying a machine, have a stack of games that you can clean, resurface, get working and make your money back quickly. Um, always buy in cash, but in this case, you know, you can cover your initial investment and get that money back right away. So I highly recommend having a stack of games like that to resurface, sell quickly, make your money back. But there's one other main criteria that I always recommend for getting a machine like that. And that one is this, doing a minimum of $100,000 in sales for the year. I say that because in my opinion, it's not exactly worth it if, you're, if your volume is really, really low. If you're, you know, if you're selling $50,000 a year, you might be making 10, to 20,000 in profit depending on your margins. This is a 4,000 three you know, 3 to 4,000 dollar machine and I think that level, that volume is just going to eat too much into your business. It may not exactly make sense. There's different scenarios, but I would say just a good a good rule of thumb, selling $100,000, you're probably netting in profit between 30 to 45,000 depending on your margins. So in that case, it's about 10% of your net profit for the year. I think that's a worthwhile investment, especially if you're set up to increase your business if you get one of these machines. And like I said, you have a stack of games uh, to go through, to send through the machine. So I got to the point in my business with my re recent uh, big buys, if you haven't seen the Game Barn buy, where it was game stores that went out of business consolidated into one Game Barn, 50,000 games. So I have a storage unit stacked floor to ceiling with games like this. This took me a day and a half to make up this bin of games that need resurfacing. There's probably 120 discs in there. Running them through one at a time in these machines is where I got to the point where I decided five years after having one of these that it's time to upgrade to the Echo Master, which is 50 in one. So the Echo Master is a massive, it's a beast of a machine. It'll sit on the floor. It'll be very hard to lift. I'm very excited about it. There's like an 11 to 12 week waiting period and that machine is $8,500 plus shipping. So it's a significant investment. But the reason I, th I felt that I was ready to get that machine is because I have been doing considerable volume for the last few years on Amazon and eBay. I just made this purchase where I'm gonna have thousands of discs that need resurfacing and I'm able to make up bins uh, of games, you know, 50 at a time pretty darn quickly to where it just makes sense to save the time. Instead of me and Alpal going over there, taking out each disc, it takes five minutes to clean the discs. And you know, every time the door opens, we gotta go over there, take it out, clean it, put it in the case. If we can just set it and forget it, it'll be a game changer as far as the time save for us. And I do have the ability to cash flow and purchase that machine at this point in the business. So it makes sense, it checks all the boxes. I'm gonna have at least 500 discs to send through it as soon as we get it. So 10 full run throughs and hopefully be able to make that money back very quickly. So that's where I'm at. Um, that's my thought process. 
these machines are amazing. So if you're if you kind of meet some of those criteria and you're interested, I strongly recommend it. Uh, give Elm USA a call, see uh, see what they have for you. And that's my thoughts. Hopefully that's helpful. Um, just kind of a live, quick thought process of of what went into me getting to this machine, what made went into me upgrading to the master, which I'm super excited about. And of course, when that thing comes in 11 or 12 weeks, you guys will be seeing it. I'll show it, show you what it's like. And until next time, hit that like button. If you're over here, you made it to the end. You're like the 1% of the 1% and I appreciate you guys. We'll see you next time. Say bye. Bye. -bye. bye. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> well planned. All right, Marble Dew. <laughs>